This video tutorial will teach you how to make an infographic using the website pictachart.com. It's important to note that at this point moving forward, as I introduce a new step to the process, you should pause the video, complete the step, and then press play on the video. That way you can complete each step as we go throughout the video. First of all, you need to go to open up the browser and go to pictachart.com. That is P-I-K-T-O-C-H-A-R-T.com. It'll bring you to this site here. And then very simple from that point on, you're going to click sign up. Do not click sign in with Google or sign in with Facebook. You are going to create your own username, email, and password. Obviously, you can create whatever username you would like. However, I recommend you use the beginning of the email address you use to sign up unless it is taken. So, for example, I am going to put in what I would what would be my username for my Wake County student email address if I had one, and that would be my first initial, my middle initial, and my last name. And then I will put an email address that I can use as well. So I will emulate the same thing. If you are unsure of your email address, at this point it is not very crucial. We can always change it later if we need to. But more than likely it's your first initial, your middle initial, and your last name at student.wcpss.net. We can always go back in and change it. And then make a password. I recommend you use your student ID number here. That way you can always remember what it is. Remember, if you ever forget your username and your password, you will no longer be able to log in and you might lose your information. So before you go any further, write down your username, the email you put in, and the password somewhere um, on your project sheet or in your agenda. Make sure you click unsubscribe, uncheck the box to next to subscribe to newsletters, and then click create my account. Once you're in, you can see the URL changes to magic.pictochart.com. This is where you will create everything, and you are good to go.